pretty people, Lizzie Sparkle here, and I just finished filming this, I, I don't even know what to call it, disaster thing. I want to say get ready with me, but it's not really get ready with me, or, well it was a get ready with me, but it was kind of like shopping my stash, but it's not really shopping my stash. Uh, well, I, I don't know, it was using LA Colors palette this this one right here this lotus palette which <sighs> but anyway i tried to salvage the look with this j cat beauty vanity goddess chromatic pigment and enchantress which is really pretty i think it's really pretty um so i yeah that that video was just <laughs> anywho so this video, I thought I would do a review on a website slash little a ring right here. Is that uh, can you? Is it picking up? It kind of looks washed out on the viewfinder. Anywho, I'll try to put a picture in at some point, possibly if if my editor will let me. But this is going to be like a story time slash review of, of the company. And it all started when I was on my sweet precious little Facebook scrolling through my timeline. And I see this, this, this right here, which was just, oh, and it had the price on it. And I was like, oh, that's not too bad. And I saw that it was like supposed to be sterling silver. And, and by the way, it's a mystic topaz. I was like, ooh, pretty. I love duochrome, multi-dimensional, like flashy things. And I've had like stones and beads that look like this, like this. It's like this purple base that it flashes like green and pink and a little bit of blue and all that tingy goody stuff. It's mystical and magical and all that jazz and so i was like that'd be nice because i've been wanting to get a ring insert ariana grande seven rings right here which <laughs> copyright reasons probably won't be right here um anywho so ever since i've touched on this before ever since my <laughs> i kind of hate saying it <sighs> It's so hard for me to say it. Here I am laughing uncomfortably about it. My disaster of an engagement. Um, that, that, hmm. all the feels in such the wrong way right now. Um, I so kind of want to talk about this, but I kind of don't. That it was just one word to sum it up nightmare. Okay. So ever since then, I wanted to get myself a nice ring to wear on my, my finger so that's not always naked all the time. Because I wanted to get myself something that was nice, but not like too nice to wear I'm like I'm afraid to wear it. Because that was one thing, like when you have something really nice, like a really nice ring with like really good, like if it's like legitimate, like gold gold, I wish I have a legitimate like gold gold band ring, which that the ring that I did have was legitimate gold, but it, it was white gold, and I feel like there's stuff added to white gold, so it's not like, it, let's put this together right now. Okay, so like I have a ring that I was given when I was like 10 by my grandmother. That was like a legitimate like 14 karat gold band, which is really thin, and I had to have it sized down because I have tiny little fingers, which actually I guess my fingers aren't that tiny, but being like a child back then, I just had to have it sized down basically. And so I, the, it's a thin band, and so I only wore it for maybe one or two months, really. And the band was just all, like, bent up and everything. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, it was my birthstone, which is a blue topaz. And it, that just, being a 10-year-old and knowing that I'm not, like, I'm not doing stuff to it. I'm just innocently wearing it, not really overexerting my hand. And the ring is getting all bent up, and my my mom and grandma were like, oh, that's just the nature of it, because it's real gold. And ever since then, I'm just kind of like, mm. <laughs> like, I want gold rings, but mm. that's what happens to gold rings, but I, anyway, whatever. Okay, so 
that brings us to like why I'm just kind of iffy about like getting something really nice and that I can wear all the time. Like all the rings that I inherited, like I would not wear them on a regular basis because of that situation. So this, this was advertised as sterling silver, which is 0.925, 92.5% silver sterling silver, which it is. It's imprinted on the inside of the band as sterling silver, but it, I know something, and it may just be the nature of the band, but it's just kind of like it's like kind of flat right there. And the rest of it's wrong. But anyway, I digress. Okay, so did I even say I'm just all over the place right now? Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, the ad was by this company called atperry.com. So I iffy about it I just kind of typed in did a quick review didn't really look too deep into it but I was like okay like they had this whole thing with like people on their website that send in pictures like you know old style like guest book where you could post in your little comment with your name and it look it's like unedited and everything you can tell it's unedited and people with their pictures and then it was all good reviews of course that doesn't mean that they didn't delete bad reviews but anyway these are like legitimate people's pictures of the ring and all their wonderful and sad stories <laughs> but anywho sad stories as in like there was this one lady whose husband bought her the ring before he died and by the time she received the ring he had passed which that that's so sad uh, bless that lady um anywho so oh and also on their facebook like i went through the comments and everybody was like oh i have this ring i love this ring blah 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 great 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 like thousands of comments oh happy joy yay but the odd thing was nobody had anything really negative to say other than like why doesn't this ring come in this size? Anyway, but one thing I saw was that this ring in particular came in a size 5, which is hard to find rings that are smaller than a size 6 because it seems like everywhere the small size is a size 6. So I was like, heck yeah, because that's that's what my, whenever I get rings for this finger, <laughs> very rare, but um, all the, 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 the Mm, nuptial rings that I had or potential nuptial rings that I had both of them were size fives because like and it's like I could have had them sized down because that's still like too big like those other rings but then they they only could do like half sizes and really like a size four and maybe like three quarters would be like ideal that way it's still like loose enough to get because I have huge knuckles just BT dubs obviously like joints are huge and like so it makes it easy to slip this ring on but yeah getting way off topic here okay so it had the ring small enough and it I, I just oh, let me just pull up the website and we'll just again I'll try to insert some pictures but here is the ring on the website like ooh pretty ooh glare yay pretty lovely wonderful Okay, so luxurious rainbow mystic topaz ring, 925 sterling silver, yes, yes, correct, correct. And it says the price on here is $33, and I I brought this up thinking that I'd have the original price, because somewhere, I remember seeing it, hmm, okay, well, could have sworn it was on the website, where the original price was like marked out and was like, I don't even remember. Was it like 95, 100 and some odd dollars? I don't know. Anyway, it was up there in the price. And I knew that like that they didn't actually sell it for that much because, hmm. But um, still at that $33 for sterling silver ring, like to me, sterling silver is a very nice metal and I know you can get stuff cheaper sterling silver things a lot cheaper than that but I feel like that's a good price like because it's a good sturdy metal and if it tarnishes you can revive it from it it being tarnished unlike other little cheap costume jewelry stuff where it's like it'll tarnish and you you can't do anything no matter what you do it still stays that like tarnished color and then to me it's like ruined but anywho like sterling silver if it goes dark and tarnishes you can like buff it out or you can take some stuff and rub it and it's it returns back to this nice silvery like bright silvery shine and all that jazz so anyway and it says that like this is like a mystic 
topaz, which I looked it up, or mystic rainbow topaz, whatever it is. And from my understanding, like, that is not, like, a real stone. Like, it's, like, is it, like, a quartz crystal that they've taken and they've added to it to make it like that? But for some reason, I feel like this is probably really glass. And I wouldn't be surprised, and I wouldn't be upset if it's, like, legitimately, like, glass that's been done like this, like they do with the beads. Like, I got a bunch of glass beads that have this kind of coloration effect. But, because I feel like if it is, like, I, if you look at Macy's website. Now, Macy's website has mystic topaz rings, but they are gold rings. But they are in the hundreds of dollars. So I kind of wonder if maybe that it, this is like legitimate and that those are in the hundreds of dollars just because it has a gold band. I feel like it wouldn't be like that extreme. Like some of them were like $500. Like a lot of them were five, like 300 to $500, which I feel like, I don't know. That's why I think maybe this is just glass. Which, again, is okay, because in Sterling Silver Band, like, I'm happy to have that. Like, and if something weird happened to this, it wouldn't be, like, as tragic. <laughs> it wouldn't feel, like, as much of a loss, because it was inexpensive. And plus, I got a discount. Like, I got, like, a little, what was it, 15% off, or maybe 20% off. Anyway, it was, like, all said and done, it was, like, $28. Big whoop. I mean, it's wonderful, like, you know, great deal for me, but, I mean, like, if something happens to it, big whoop. So, so here's the thing. I ordered it, and on the website and everywhere, it says it takes like 5 to 15 days to arrive. Business days. Business days. To arrive and whatnot. So, I ordered, let me get my little screen up. I ordered this on January 7th. And, honestly, I... So I ordered on January 7th and time passed on that 5 to 15 business days. You know, I, like, it said that once it was shipped out, <coughs> you would receive, like, your shipping confirmation. All that never received a shipping confirmation. So I waited, like, 20 days. Actually, I think I waited, like, 22 days and nothing. So I contacted the company about it, blah, blah, blah. Got a little thing, like I was like, you know, if it hasn't even shipped, which I assumed it hadn't shipped because when I went to type in my order number onto the website, it shown that it was still processing and that it hadn't shipped yet. So, since it said it hadn't shipped, I just assumed it hadn't shipped, so I contacted and I was like, you know, since this says it hasn't shipped, you know, I'd like just to have my refund and be done and over with waiting because once you get past a certain point, like, it, it would... I knew it was going to be shipped from another country, shipped from China overseas, and I was like, you know, at some point, things can take an extremely long time, and then you, like, you have your opportunity to have money back, guarantee for just a, a, a period of time. I was like, I don't want to run out of that period of time and be out of money if it never shows up or if something happens, blah, blah, blah. So they're like, oh, <laughs> just so you know, it has shipped, so hold your horses, honey. They didn't say it like that. They said it in a much nicer way. But, um, it's just kind of like, <laughs> shows what you know. We've already shipped it, and it's going to arrive to your house two days from now. So, tough cookies. And, uh, so, I was like, okay, you know, <laughs> I'm just happy it shipped. So, two days later, I actually received it, which I think that, okay, so if I ordered it on January 7th, I think I got it, like, one of the last days of January, like January 30th or 31st, I think I got it just like the day before February. So, yeah, it showed up and it came, it actually came, let me see if I can like hide my little address here, but it came in this little tiny envelope, brought her with all the labely stuff, okay. So, oh yeah, it has it on the back side too. So I ripped into it because I was struggling to get it open and they had this little card inside with a code which BT dubs if anybody wants a code next 25 apparently you'll get 25% off I assume yeah 25% off there you go if you're interested and then it actually had this nice little box I will give them a ton of credit for this little box because this is nice it has at perry.com on there 
Um, and then it came in a little baggie. A nice little baggie. But the box, I don't, like I said, I'm impressed. This is like a legitimate, ooh, it actually is a legitimate ring box. It has like the little, hold on, where you can like put the ring in. That, that's nice. Okay, see that? Ooh, wonderful. Lovely, yes. So, packaging was actually pretty good, especially like, yeah, packaging was great, I'd say, because you don't get this special treatment. Like, if I ever actually had some successful jewelry sales, I can honestly say that my packaging is nowhere near this good. <laughs> my packaging is lame compared to this. Uh, so, this is fantastic, but that delay, that delay really scared me. I did get the ring. And so far, so good. Like, I've had it... Well, today is the 8th of February. So, I've had it for a little over a week. And I love it so far. It's like, in regular light, you don't really see it. Like, it just looks like a purple stone. Like, almost like an amethyst. But, it's hard to see if it's like... I just see a glare in the viewfinder. But, is it picking up, like, all the different colors? Hopefully it is. I don't know. But anyway, I got it. And, you know, I'm kind of hesitant. Like, if you have, like, they do have some nice stuff on there. Like, for real. And it's, like, legitimate sterling silver. So that's all I really cared about. And it's, like, a nice, like, setup, too. Like, can you see that setting on there? Like, it's, okay, let me see if I can kind of hold it so that my shirt is, like, the contrast. It, it's a pretty nice setting so it's nicely made in that sense too but um <laughs> I if you want to like I would recommend ordering from there with the disclaimer that it ain't gonna take five to 15 days business days to be delivered it's gonna take a little bit longer than that I know if you count it in the weekends and everything but still Mine took a little over 15 business days, okay? Even with the processing, give add a little processing time to fluff it. I, I just, um, okay, so maybe it did take 15 days. But it does, <laughs> I'm digging myself into a little hole. Oh, uh, it, it just, I uh, just, ooh. What part is that going to go with that? I don't know, just. It's going to take some time. Uh, it's going to take some time to get there, but it did get here within a month, so that that's good. It's just ignore the little 15 business days. Look for little discount codes because there's all kinds out there. And like I said, next 25 will give you 25% off. And then once you go to their website, honey child, they are going to bombard you with all kinds of codes. Once you place your order, your first order, they're going to give you all kinds of codes for 30% off within the next 24 hours of placing your order. So if you want to place another order, then they can give you like your little 30% off and then they can throw it in with that order and then all that jazz, but whatever. By the way, free shipping, just so you know. And also, I probably should have said some getting not affiliated by any means, okay? So I ain't getting any cut from this, but... I noticed, like, when I went on YouTube, like, while I was waiting, I was looking for videos about it to see if anybody did reviews, and all of the videos on YouTube that came up in my search results, all of them were from the atperry.com YouTube account. So, here's my review. This is, like, a legitimate review, not paid, not sponsored, not asked to do this. This is all my own very opinion about my experience. It is a legit website, and if it's taken a little while to get there, don't be too scared, because it should eventually get there, but if it's been over a month, then yeah, you may want to check into that. But anywho, this is the, the, the end of the review, and I do like my ring. It's pretty. I haven't really, like, worn it out yet, but I can't wait to wear it more, and it, it's so pretty. I love it. So, yay. So... That's it for this video, and thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe, or if you didn't like this review, then you can thumbs down it, that's cool too, your opinion, and subscribe, and all the jazz, and that's where we're at, okay, thanks, bye!